Hey, what's going on everybody? Who be 186 back again with another video. I mean, actually, yeah, this, it is another video, but this is a, a special video. This is going to be the first of uh, hopefully many videos like this. Uh, who be on the road? I'll just talk about something, you know, probably mainly gaming related that happened today. And, um, I don't know, yeah, let's, let's, you know, get at it. Let's start it off. Um, uh, apparently, there is a new COD game coming out this year. What a shocker. I know everyone's kind of surprised by this. Um, I think the tagline is... I think this is going to be made by Infinity Ward, the team behind the original Modern Warfare. So, uh, we'll talk about that a little later. Um, but the this new Call of Duty is going to be called Call of Duty Infinity Warfare. So, pretty much, they've taken the whole futuristic as aspect of the... Of, the last few games and have now taken it to outer space um pretty much um that's pretty much what the trailer was you know they were out in outer space you're you're flying jets and shit like that and it's uh yeah it, it's it's like it's call of duty for me i now i'm not one of these people who who constantly hate on call of duty you know what i mean like i i you know, I do. I did buy Black Ops 3 because, um, for whatever reason, I decided I forgot like sometime last year or a couple years ago. You, all right, let me let me backtrack a little bit. I, I've always been more of a um, Infinity Ward, um, Call of Duty player. Uh, I remember the first time I played Call of Duty, um, was back on PC long, long time ago. I, I uh, a couple friends we went, we went to a um. We uh, went to a this little hangout spot, a, you know, game game room spot, and they were playing, you know, this shoot this first person shooter. And you know, at the time, you know, I I only had like very little experience with PC um, in my life before then. You know, I played Quake and Doom and shit like that, and, and that stuff, you know, it was cool. But you know, I kind of you know I kind of started developing motion sickness and shit like that, so. So I really couldn't play for too long, and you know, obviously I was I was a lot younger back then, so I didn't know what the fuck I was doing when it came to uh, computer maintenance. But um, you know, we 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 went over to the uh, to the game room, whatever they were they were playing COD, and this was bef way before uh, Modern Warfare hit. And um, you know, when when you know, obviously everyone knows about Modern Warfare, it was kind of like the big the game that made um, COD um, not necessarily popular because you know they had a whole bunch of um, Call of Duty game before on the on the PS2 and and Xbox there were like you know story driven games and kind of games that were uh, I don't want like I guess you could say loosely based on reality you know and those games were were pretty were pretty and they were really good I some of them were, were great you know some but a lot of them were really good and um, so yeah so I mean obviously Modern Warfare 4 hit. And, um, you know, that, that took off and then, you know, you had the, the, the steady flow of Call of Duty games ever since then. And, um, I think people, I think the reason why a lot of people still play it is because it's still, I don't want to say it's easy because you know, obviously you, every, every game, every first person shooter, any game period takes a level of skill to really get good at. So, you know, I don't want to say that, but it's definitely more accessible to the two new players than then you know your average for pretty sure like battlefield or anything like that so i think that's why people still play it but this whole inf this whole infinity war stuff with the spaceships and stuff, and stuff like that um i mean i don't want to say i'm like completely not not interested but you know it just, it's a far departure from where the series has been and i i think most people are just are just just not interested and plus obviously infinity war is not the company it was back in the day so I don't know. We'll see what happens. But um, the big, the bigger issue, the bigger story, is the fact that they've completely remastered the original Modern Warfare and will be offering it as a bundle to um, to uh, Infinity Warfare. And I think that as a business decision, it's a very smart business decision. I, most people are probably going to prefer to have the original. Uh, I do too. Like I, I'm not interested. I'm really not that interested in, in Infinity Warfare, but I am. In, I am very interested in playing the original uh, Modern Warfare again. You know, yeah, I'm, I'm interested in, in playing that again, seeing it. Um, you know, 
up res and you know remastered and um but you know it comes you obviously in order for you to have it you you need to buy infinity warfare and uh you know it is what it is i i'm not gonna go through i'm not gonna pre i don't pre-order call of duty game not anymore um i guess i'll talk about why here as well while i'm at it but um I don't pre-order Call of Duty games anymore. Um, I did. I did buy Black Ops Three, so I and I, I, and I like Black Ops Three a lot. You know, don't get don't get it twisted. But I don't I don't pre-order COD games anymore. Um, but uh, but yeah, so they're they're offering it. They're, only, they're they're not selling it standalone. I don't know if they ever will, and if they do, I mean, I expect them to ask for a pretty penny if they ever release a standalone. So I know we'll see what happens. Um. You know, my brother's more into it than I am, so more than likely he's going to do it. So, you know, we'll see what happens. But um, now, regarding the community, um, <laughs> I was having a discussion with this uh, with uh, a follow of uh, someone who I follow on on Twitter. Um, I think she follows me as well. Um, you know, she actually from from what I can tell, she's actually really good at um, good at first person shooter. That's her main thing. And she 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 was showing a message where she got cursed out on 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 PSN, and um, you know yeah that's pretty much the Call of Duty community in a nutshell. I remember when the last Call of Duty game I pre-ordered was Modern Warfare 3, and um, you know it was for the PS3. I went with my friend who got the 360 version, and um, you know we went we, we went me my friend my best friend and um my brother we all went and i mean we had to wait in line obviously there's a lot of people there and the one that there was this 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 feeling that came over me when i was there being surrounded by these these i mean for lack of a better term douchebags like they're just you know i don't know man i'm just hearing their strategies and and what they say to people online it was just like Holy crap! These are—I mean, these are all the same people who who go on Call of Duty, and more more so. Um, Cause when I first, when I, the first time I played um, Modern Warfare was on the Xbox 360, and and don't get to it. There are a lot of funny, this super funny, super engaging conversations I've had on Xbox Live with 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 uh, Modern Warfare. It was it was a blast. But, you know, you also, with that, you also get a lot of the the trolls. You know, you get a lot of the racist bullshit, you know, and, and shit like that. You get a lot of kids. And it, it, it's, um, yeah, I, I, and over time, I grew to hate the community. And it's mainly because of, you know, you know, the way people play. Some people play nowadays. The amount of, of drama that went on with some of the bigger card, card people. You know, kind of tracing back on some of that stuff when I when I first started YouTube, it's just like a bunch of petty, disgusting losers that 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 infiltrate that game and and you know it was just that you know I didn't like the way people played with the camping and bullshit like that. And don't get it twisted, I, I'm about to show a COD video in a couple of days where I am camping. So you know, I just did it because we were playing hardcore deathmatch. Yeah, it was just hardcore deathmatch free for all. And I mean, no one was seeing me, so I was like, "Fuck it, I'll just shoot everyone." You know what I mean? But um, yeah, but I'm I'm not a camper. I, I'm not patient enough to do that. But you know, you just it's just the community itself is just infested with a bunch of fucking awful people. You know what I mean? I, that's why that's part of the reason why I don't pre-order. I don't pre-order COD because when I pre-order a game, I like to get the game if it's available like as soon as possible. You know what I mean? Like either via midnight launch or if i or you know if not then then i'll just get it immediately once i wake up that's the first thing i'm doing you know getting the game you know what i mean so so that that's part of the reason why i don't pre-order call of duty games and also you know i'm not interested in buying every every installment so i i kind of just like to to um you know i, I kind of just like to Buy buy whichever one that I feel like it's it's the best one for me, and I've always and I've always felt like like um you know with the, at least with the last one I I always, I just felt more comfortable playing the um 
the uh, what the fuck, Treyarch um, Call of Duty games. So you know, that's why that's why I, that's why I bought Black Ops Three and and um, whichever the next Treyarch Call of Duty game, because you know obviously it is going to come out. Um, I'll I'll probably go and buy that too. So um, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, you know, I kind of rambled on there a bit. Um, sorry for that, but this is the first time doing this, so. Uh, anyway, regardless of that, this will be 186. I am out. Peace out. Peace.